Okay. Natalia, good morning. Good morning. My ball is squishy. Do you want me to blow it up? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, depends. But you're only going to be sticking it between your ankles and your legs. So mine's squishy as well. Doesn't have to be hardly pumped up. Okay, so today's class has been slightly inspired by Mandy. So there are some things on here that I haven't exactly done. So I will be referring back to my notes. We're going to drop our body towards the wall. We're going to grab our balls, stick them between our knees. You want to make sure that you're in a nice chair position and you're going to squeeze that ball if you've got it. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. And we're going to hold for 30 seconds. Now find your hamstring butt connection points right underneath your glutes. Squeeze those little guys together too. Holding. One. Two. Suck your bellies right back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Keep squeezing that ball. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Squeeze it a little more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget your hamstring butt connection points. Nine, ten, ten seconds more. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Place your hands against the wall, press your head away from the wall, push yourself back. Never push yourself away with your neck. We can hold on to our balls, we're going to go into a wide position. Drop yourself back against the wall. It's the same positions we do with the arms, but I'm just doing it without the arms today so you can really focus on getting those muscles working. Then when we go back to doing it with the arms, you kind of know that feeling you should have in your legs. Here we go, take your back body back, hold the ball up in front of you, drop down through your shoulder blades so you can feel your serratus anterior activating in your lats. Suck your bellies back, hold. One, two, three. Now find your hamstring butt connection points in this position, five, Six, ooh la la, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, find your back muscles, two, keep drawing your shoulder blades down, three, keep sucking your bellies back, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, hey, it's hard, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Press away from the wall. Ooh, that's, that gets into the quadriceps, doesn't it? Here we go. We go back between the knees. We go into a parallel position. Make sure you're finding your neutral spine against the wall as well. You're not jamming your lower back against the wall. You're still pretty much in neutral. So there's still that nice little little space where your lower back is. Here we go, give it a good squeeze, hold, one. Find your hamstring butt connection points, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Press away. Oh, that wakes those quadriceps up, all right? Wide position, stick it back against the wall. Find your wrap in your legs. Really, when you're in this wide position, make sure that you are in neutral spine by sticking your tailbone out slightly is gonna activate those quadriceps more. Arms up, shoulder blades down, hold one, two, bellies back, three, pelvic floor up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness, that burns. Okay, before we go down to the ground, we're just going to grab our bands. Those of you that don't have your bands, you're going to grab a bicep weight resistance and you're going to go your heavier bicep weight resistance. Those of you that have the bands, we're going to take our bands underneath our feet. You have to gauge on how heavy you want the band. You can take your arms up or take them down. That will change the resistance. We're going to go into a hammer grip. So our, our hands will be facing each other. Those of you that have got the weights, you do exactly the same. You've got the weight in your hand in a hammer grip. And we're going to pull up one, two. Three. Mandy's band's just breaking on her in the other room. Four. Five. Six. Now keep your shoulders nice and open. Seven. Keep your elbows riding by your side. Eight. Nine. Now the bands are sneaky. They don't feel like when you start, like you're doing too much. But after a while, it starts to really load in. And often what happens with a the TheraBand is you do the class and you think, oh, that was kind of nice and smooth because it's got that nice smooth band feel to it. But it'll often give you a good ahujeta the next day because we're slightly working those muscles differently. How many have we done? Those of you that want a little bit more action, you can go down into your legs and squat. Keep sucking your bellies back, please. If you need it to be heavier, you just take your hand a little lower on your band. Keep those elbows in, keep those shoulders open. Nearly there. Ten. Okay, now we just turn our hands outwards. So you're in the same grip, but you just rotate the arms out. You can take your elbows slightly out from your body, not too much. Guys, without the bands, you do exactly the same with the weights. Bring it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So this is a class inspired by Mandy, so I may be complaining a lot the whole way through the session. So you can see now why I've also suggested that you definitely do that on a light resistance with a band. A heavy resistance is kind of impossible. Ooh. How many have we done? Ooh. Okay, last round. 10, nine, nine, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't let go of the band, bring it back to parallel, and we're just going to do some quick little hammer curls. One, two, 
three, I can't go faster mending, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can go faster, go faster. I literally cannot go faster with this band straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest, take the band around your ankles. I am, I'm just gonna just keep going backwards and forwards a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna tie the band around the ankles. Okay, if you've got one of these bands that I suggested you get off the internet, they're not that great, I don't like them at all, they're very sticky. So the band, it, hey? It's in a little bow, so you tie a little knot. A little bow. A little bow, Mandy's saying. Don't tie a knot, otherwise you won't be able to untie it again afterwards. So we do a little bow. My little band doesn't like doing bows. Okay. Okay, so we're going to come onto one leg. This leg is going to come just off the floor. Ooh, how's everyone's biceps feeling? And you're just going to try and keep your hip bones level and you're going to lift your leg up. One. So there's a little bit of resistance. Two. Three. Try and keep your hip bones as level as you can. Four. So Jack, you're just going to pretend that you've got that resistance there. It's still going to work. It's just more fun with a band. Six. Seven. So basically the equipment and all the little bits and pieces just make it more fun. You can do everything without it, but it just adds that little bit of extra resistance. We're going for 30 reps. Try to keep those hip bones level. How many have we done? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, change sides, hip bones level, one, I'm in a parallel position, two, we're deliberately in parallel because it's kicking into the side of the glute, four. Natalia, my band is too strong, it has no give, I'm just going to do it with weights. Okay, no problem, yeah, exactly, you can do it without, you can do it without the band. Pardon? Weights is good as well. Doing it with weights is kind of the same thing, but just without that tension. Ooh. You can see I'm not getting my leg that high to get that hip and glute muscle working. How many have we done, Mandy? Nine. Ten. Last ten. 10, 9, 8, ooh la la, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Widen your legs so you've got a nice resistance on the band. Slightly rotated. We're going to squat right down. So just as basic as the band is just giving you something that's giving you a bit of tension, my body is forward. Now I'm going to squat up, but I'm not going to come all the way up to a standing position. I'm going to maintain that slight rotation and my legs stay bent. Stick your bum out. Squeeze it up. Squeeze up from those inner thighs. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, squeeze from those hamstrings, squeeze from those inner thighs, eight, nine, 10, one, two, so I'm really tipping forward with my body, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your band off, leave it close by. We're going back to the wall. Now, uh, Nat and the hay, we're gonna keep on working our quadriceps a little bit more. I'm just a little bit concerned about your quadricep tendon getting aggravated. So I think for you, you could go into your psoas stretch series now. Okay, everyone else, back to the wall, please. Elizabeth, you can keep those weights on. Okay, we go down into our squat. This leg is slightly coming into my center line. We elongate this leg out, flex the foot, and bend the leg. I've got to hold on to the door because as you know, I'm on a downward, downward slope. And three. Four, so this leg is nice and bent. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and changing sides. Elongate the leg out. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change legs. Elongate it out and circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Around the other way, ten. All over. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Changing legs and circling. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, circle ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more thing, change legs. If it's getting too much on this quad, come up a little bit high so it's not so tense on the supporting leg. Elongate the leg out, point the toe and flick, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is for 30, seven, eight, nine, 10, Mandy said they're all supposed to be for 30, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, last 10, 10, this is the last thing we're doing that, then we're gonna join you again. Six, five, four, three, two, one, change legs and kick one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and resting. Rather than unlocking your TheraBand again, grab your weights. We'll do our triceps with our weights. One tricep exercise only. Single weight, grab your heavier one please, ladies. We're on a one kilo now for our triceps. We'll just do a single arm tricep in a lunge. Tip forward, roll the shoulder back with the elbow up. We know the series, press it out, one. Two, three, four. Really open that shoulder up. Five, six, seven. Squeeze that tricep at the top. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep those elbows up. Ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One little kicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, change sides. Shoulder back, elbow up, tip forward, elongate out, one, two, three, really squeeze it at the top, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze it out, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, last 10, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tiny presses and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Choose your weights, either 0.5 or a five. We've got two more exercises to do before we get back down onto those glutes and those abs. Hands straight up and down. So we're no longer in the W position, we're in a square. We're going to push up and then you're going to feel like you're pulling down on a big bar and then you're going to press up, suck your bellies back, squat down into a squat so you keep working your abs, squeeze your glutes, pull it down from your back, two, pull it down, three, pull it down, four, five, 
Keep squeezing your butt muscles. Six. Keep sucking that belly in. Seven. Draw the elbows down a little bit more, Madhu. Eight. Pull it down. Nine. So pulling down on a really heavy bar. Ten. 20, I want to do 20 more, 10 more, one. Yeah. Squeeze it down, two. Squeeze it down, three. Pump those biceps up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Give it a little rest. We've got one more arm exercise to do. We're going to be in exactly the same position, but we're just going to bring it around to the front. We're going to twist our hands into this position. Then we're going to open back up, palms facing me. Pull it around, twist, and then you open back up. So we're basically, we're working our bicep, we're working our shoulder, we're working our pec, we're working our back. Just 20 reps. Let's take ourselves into a wide squat position. Whew. Don't know why I suggested that. My legs are already shaking. Here we go. Palms facing me. Palms facing your face. Palms facing me. Face your, turn to your face and open. Three, four, five, Six, let's pick up the pace. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Go lower in the squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Rest. Weights down, grab your mats, grab your bands, lay down on your back. Okay, so let me have a look what we've got here. We're going to wrap, we're gonna take, you probably already got it in the knot. So you're gonna take that up and over your legs. So if, you're gonna, if you need to tie it, you're going to tie it in a bow. If you tie it in a knot, you won't be able to get it undone afterwards. So it's kind of movable. Don't make it too tight, Nat. Nat, Nat Taurus, don't make it too tight. Otherwise, you won't be able to open your legs. Bands are a bit fiddly as well. Is someone off of... Mute. Yeah, Sophie's off mute. You're back on now. <sighs> I thought I could hear dog. Okay, so we're gonna lay onto our backs, please. We're going to roll. Firstly, just watch my position. I'm gonna go all the way up into a full tilt. Then I'm gonna drop down to where my ribs are, more or less. My lower back is completely off the ground. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that position there and I'm going to open my legs. One, and then come back. And I'm going to squeeze and open. Two. And then I'm going to come back. Squeeze and open. Three. And then come back. Okay? And we're going to keep the tension. So if the band doesn't feel tight enough, you might need to tighten it up a little bit. But because it's the first time we're doing it, just kind of go with the exercise and we'll do it again next week. We roll all the way up into a full tilt. I've got my legs wide enough that I can feel there's a bit of tension on, my band, on the band. I'm gonna drop down to my ribs. My lower back is completely off the ground and there is no tension in my back. Activate your abs. Squeeze open, one. Bring it back. Bring it back with the tension. Two. Squeeze three. Squeeze four. Matt, up a little bit higher. 
with your body, that's it. Squeeze five. Squeeze six. Oh, that feels wonderful. Squeeze seven. Squeeze eight. So Mandy's saying if you want a little bit more challenge, you can lift your toes off the floor. I so knew who were the people that were going to do that. <laughs> One. Two. You'll notice my toes are firmly planted on the floor. Three. I do not need extra challenges in my life. Six, five, six, oh, seven. So also having that resistance is getting into those deep rotating muscles in your glutes. So I don't know whether you can feel that really deep burning that's beginning to happen. That, yes, is your glute muscles, but it's also some really deep muscles getting activated around the bones. How many have you done? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, and ten. Oh, roll it down. We're taking the band off now. Hip lift. We do that with the band. Taking, taking the bands off, grabbing hold of your balls. Okay, so you're gonna pop the ball between your knees. Okay, if you don't have a ball, it doesn't matter. You're gonna rock back to your elbows. Lift your legs off. Flex your feet. Take a deep breath in, breath out, squeeze the ball, press the legs away, one. Bring it back. Press away, two. Now, those of you that have funny backs, you can see that my legs are really high. I'm not taking my legs too low. Those of you that have no issues in your back, you are allowed to challenge yourself and take your legs a little lower. Four, squeeze, five, squeeze that ball, six, squeeze seven, squeeze it eight, suck those bellies in, squeeze nine, and squeeze ten, rest. Take the ball between your ankles. Oh, we'll come back to it. Lay on your backs. Take your hands underneath your sacrums. Lift up, make sure the ball's nice and comfortable between your ankles that it's not gonna fall out. So you've kind of got a little bit of hold with your foot. You're gonna lift the ball straight to the ceiling you're going to lower down, you're going to squeeze the ball, you're only going to take it as low as your lower back will allow you to go, and then you're going to bring it back in. And we're going to do 30 repetitions, and lift, squeeze, one, and back, and lower down, use your lower abs, two, and back, and three, you can see I am not taking my legs very low. My lower back will not allow me to take them too low. This is for 30 reps, everybody. How many is that? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Not even halfway through. One. 
two, three, four. Now for the last 15, we're not going to bend it as we come in. We're going to lift it back up. Last 15, just lowering down without bending. One, and up. Two, three, four, five, six. If it gets too much, just stop. Seven, it's high repetition, so if it's too much, you just give up for a little bit and then we'll catch up on the next exercise. How many? Last one and rest. Take hold of your ball, give your inner thighs a little bit of a rest. Open your legs wide, drop one leg across, drop the other leg across and just stretch those hip flexors and those inner thighs out. So it's just the legs are really open. You just kind of drop across like you've been smacked down. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Open the legs, change sides. Five, four, three, two, one, come back up to your elbows. We're supposed to do 30 reps of the other one. Ball between the knees again. Lift the legs off, find a comfortable position for your back. 20 reps more, squeeze it out, one. Squeeze, two. Three. Four. Five. Six, squeeze seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, squeeze one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a small rest. Pop the ball down. Jack, you're going to do your stretches now. Everyone else, unleash your TheraBand. I'm going to do a roll now. I'm going to roll, roll up with a band. Okay. This is actually a very nice exercise. <laughs> Um, so normally I make you do your roll-ups without bands, without any support, which is the very, it's actually the hardest way of doing a roll-up is without any support. Normally you get trained and you do it with the machines and you do it with the, the springs. Well, we've gone pretty hardcore on this program and you can all now do it without, which is great. So what I'm going to give you is the feeling of what it is to feel like having a support, which will be great for people that have a problem with their legs when they're doing the roll-up. So you take the band around the top of your feet. This one, if you've got a heavier band, you want to use it, especially boys, okay, so Jack and Paul, this would be an opportunity that you'd use a heavier band because it's going to give you that little bit more support. Those of you that want the extra challenge, so Nella, you're going to stick to your low band, otherwise it's going to make it too easy. Okay, the less support, you stick to your light band, Nella. The heavier band makes it too easy. Okay, so we wrap the band around your, uh, your feet. You hold your arms up. Do not bend your elbows at all. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Begin to slowly roll back. Vertebra by vertebra. Don't bend your arms. Doesn't that feel nice? To have that little bit of extra support. Don't bend your arms, take a deep breath in, breathe out. Now keep your arms stretched, use your abdominals to lift you up. 
and begin to slowly roll all the way back up. Don't bend your arms, take a deep breath in, breath out, begin to slowly fold back. Now here, because you've got the support, you can really think of rolling down vertebra by vertebra. Keep your arms nice and stretched. Deep breath in. Breath out, begin to slowly fold off. Breath in. Breath out, slowly fold down. So Jack, I never get you to do these because of your back, but once you have a TheraBand, we'll be able to start doing this because you'll have that support to take your spine down slowly. Deep breath in, hold. Breath out, begin to slowly roll back up. We're gonna go for one more. Deep breath in. Breath out, slowly roll down. Breath in, stay. Breath out and slowly roll back up. Bending your knees. Hold on to your balls. Palms up in front of you. Take a breath in. Breath out, pull back your spine. Take yourself to a challenge point. Breath in, bring it back up. 10 repetitions, breath out, pull back. I'm rolling back to my challenge point, bringing myself back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, how am I going for time, Mindy? Eight. Nine. Okay, this one we're not going to go complete. We're going to go just halfway down that we know that we can hold the position. Open the arm, twist, hold the ball. And bring it back, hold the ball. Breath out, twist. And bring it back. Twist. And back. Twist. And back. Four more on each side. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Rest the ball down, roll onto your backs. Okay, let me just check my notes. Okay, so we are going to go into a small little roll up. Your feet, your toes are gonna to come off of the ground, so you're gonna be on your heels. You're gonna extend one leg into the air. This is my working leg, and we're gonna do 20 little bops to the ceiling. Okay, so we come off into a pelvic tilt. We're lifting our heels off. Lift one leg up and press from the supporting leg, press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest the leg down, don't drop down. Roll up onto the heel of the supporting leg. Lift the other leg up and press. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Bring yourselves all the way up. Russian twist. Can you just show me, Mandy? Okay, those people can use a ball as well. Yeah. Okay, those of you that have back pathology, so Jack, be careful with this exercise. Actually, Jack, maybe don't do this exercise. You can just keep on stretching. Nat, you're gonna pop that ball under your back. Mad Her, you're gonna pop that ball under your back. Elizabeth, it's up to you. Nat, up to you. Esmeralda, also up to you. Everyone else, you're gonna be free in the back. Georgia, ball behind the back. I'm also gonna go ball behind my back. So we've got something to lean on. You're gonna lift your legs up into a Russian twist. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you've got a support there. If you've got a bad back, take your hands onto your elbows and twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh my gosh, nine, ten, Ooh. one, Amanda inspired exercise two, I can barely demonstrate it, three, four, you can always put your feet down, five, six, seven, Eight, yeah, much nicer with the feet down. Nine, ten, last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my God, I'm never doing that again. All right, we are going. We're gonna go into a plank position on our hands. We're gonna stabilize our upper body and we're just gonna lift one leg up, bring it down. Other leg up, bring it down. We're gonna go for 15 on each side. Remember when you're on your hands, please, that you are not sinking into your hands. You wanna push up away from your hands. So you come into a plank position. Push away from the floor and lift the leg one, two. If it's too much on the wrist, you can always come on the elbows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Oh. Hello, Scarlett. Yes. Everyone resting in whatever position they want to rest. If you want to go back into a child's pose, you can go back into a child's pose. Take a couple of deep breaths in. And laying back down on your backs. Grab your balls. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Ball between the ankles. Hands go underneath the glutes. Again, so you're supporting your you're supporting your lower back. Okay, we're going to lift the legs straight to the ceiling. You're going to flex your feet back and I want you to imagine that you've got a big plate on top of your feet that is filled with fruit. 
and you don't want any of the fruit to come off. This is a classic Joseph Pilates original exercise. It's called circus plates. So we're gonna do the shape of a circle. We're gonna breathe in on one part of the circle and we're gonna breathe out on the other part of the circle. We're gonna breathe in and we're gonna breathe out on the other half. So we're trying to keep the fruit on the plate. You're trying to get your legs as stretched and straight as you can. We're gonna go 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way. Activate your abs, breath in, take it around. Breath out, one. Breath in, breath out. In and out. Breath in, breath out. Breath in breath out in and out breath in breath out in out how many have i done in out in out reverse your circle breath in breath out in breath out in breath out Breath in, breath out, in and out. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, in, out, in, out, how many? In and out and resting. What you guys rest while I look at my list. What is the advanced bird dog? Oh, they're actually like on their fours in grade one, arm on the opposite arm, opposite leg, but on the like. What's the time? <laughs> well, they can challenge, you can challenge them, or well, they can do it down four minutes. Four minutes. I think we'll do side planks instead. Okay, Ben is going to time us. We're going to do a one arm side plank. <clears throat> Those of you guys that do not want to do your planks, you can just chill out and watch the rest of us do the side plank. You can stretch it out. Everyone else, we're going to do a one minute plank. So we come to our front plank to start. Then you twist. You twist around. You want to make sure this shoulder and this elbow are perfectly aligned. So you can just do a normal plank. Or you can just do a normal plank. Man, you got your phone ready? Okay, here we go, and hold. Now you can take this foot up on top of the other foot. <clears throat> Keep lifting up underneath for your obliques. This is an oblique, the side plank is mostly obliques. And hold, we're holding for one minute. Now this, for some reason, makes it nicer if you take your arm up. <sighs> Keep lifting. Now if the side plank is too much, just stay in a normal plank. Elongate through the back of the neck, please, Soph. Keep on holding. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and rest. Two, one. Excellent. Nice work, guys. Who did I lose? Who have I lost? Elizabeth has gone off. Hmm, interesting. Is this more good? Is everyone ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Manny's got commentary in the background, but everyone's doing it fine. Okay, we go to the other side, guys. Find your front plank to begin. Twist it around. Make sure your elbow and your shoulder are perfectly aligned. Here we go. One minute. Ready? Yep. Definitely ready. Keep lifting. You see how I'm getting this kind of pull up here. It's really important to get those obliques activated and that serratus anterior supporting you. Those of you that are in your front plank, squeeze those glutes as much as you can, please. Squeeze those inner thighs as much as you can. Oh, one minute just seems so long when you're in a plank. How much 
touch it on the Mandy. Oh my goodness me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on guys, I'm on a downward slope in this room. Like it doesn't seem like it makes much difference, but it makes a lot of difference. All right, let's come into our mermaid and let's just unwind just to finish the class. I did not do everything that Mandy had planned. I added a few nice Natalia things into that session. Bring your arm all the way up and over. Twist. Twist open. Lift. Press. Changing sides. And drop down. And over. And twist. And open. And lift. And press. And we are finished, guys. Well done. We should all feel our quadriceps tomorrow, I'm thinking. Oh, 10 videos. Matt, you did great.